Hey everyone, welcome to another horror game. Today we're going to be playing The Exorcist Legion, now in VR. That's right, I know I am the proud owner of a Valve Index, so I can actually be doing VR games, and I am so fucking excited for this. This is a game that was highly recommended to me by the artist for the channel, his name is Taro, he has a ton of experience in VR, and this is supposed to be a really fucking creepy game, it's obviously based on The Exorcist. And boy, am I looking forward to playing this. I have been dicking around a lot with the VR, kind of learning how the movement is. I've done a test recording of this for the first like five, ten-ish minutes, and it was fucking creepy as hell. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am, because honestly, VR is something that I've really wanted to do for quite some time. And now that I've finished moving and everything, and I have a space set up for it, uh, I I'm, I'm should be all set for it. I actually, if I kind of had to like rearrange the room a little bit compared to how I wanted it to, just so I could make sure I had the right space lined up and to reduce echo as much as possible. Uh, so my question for you guys is just do me a favor and let me know in the comments any audio issues, any video issues and such. There's a couple of games that people have specifically asked for in VR that I want to make sure are done perfectly. So if you guys come across any issues, just do me a favor, let me know as soon as you can. But uh, yeah, this is just the this is the room that we start in. We're actually going to be playing as a detective for the Boston Police, and we're going to be getting a few cases that are apparently, well, a little bit spooky to say the least. There's there's some bad shit going on here. So let me, yeah, I think yeah, here we go. I think the last time I did this, I think it like for some reason instead of being in front of me, it was like kind of off to the right. I don't really understand why. But I am so fucking looking forward to doing this, and I hope you guys are too. Because, yeah, VR is going to be a kind of a game changer, I think, here on the channel. And I figured I want to do something creepy for the first game. And there we have it. The Exorcist Legion VR. And in this video, we're going to be doing Chapter 1. There's five chapters in total, so I'll probably do about a chapter of video, depending on how lucky we are. All right, and here we go. We have a late shift here in the precinct. Homicide, Boston Police Department. Okay, so what's going to be our first steps here? What do we got going on? Still a little dark. Yeah, here we go. And, uh... Yeah, I actually... I had some real issues getting the audio to record properly on this, so like I said earlier, just let me know if you guys notice any problems. Alright, so, country cup coffee. Uh, you know what? It's not too late for a coffee, right? I don't drink coffee. Um, okay, you know what? I wonder if you'll drink hot chocolate. I really hope I don't need a cup in you. Oh, okay, good, I don't. <laughs> I was gonna say, I look like an asshole just spilling coffee and bullshit all over the place. And if you don't drink that, maybe you'll drink a breakfast tea, too. Alright, so... Nice cup of hot chocolate. This is actually my general drink of choice. That or a tea. I'm not really much of a coffee guy personally, but yeah, there we go. And boy, that uh, apparently it was a very, very thirsty plant there. So I think this might be how you quit the game natively. And then we have the elevator, which is out of service. Here we go. Evidence. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at evidence. What do we got inside of here? Um... Nothing so far. Check back to see evidence from past cases. Don't forget to fill out the log before removing evidence. BPD evidence storage. Yeah, so I think what this is, is this actually stores stuff when we... When we're done. And this is a bag of something or other. Yeah, I think we can come back here. What are you? John Doe, patient 6079. Unknown date of birth, sex male, David, or Dr. V. Green. Yeah, so I think we're going to be able to come back here and, like, maybe piece stuff together. I don't know if there's much of, like, an actual detective element to this game. I'm, I'm not really sure. Hello, Chief. Check your office board. Check my office board. Okay. Like, apparently... Can I reach through? No? Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be our office. This is the detective's office. And... Here we go. This is where we're going to... This is going to be kind of our hub in between everything. So let's just go ahead, let's just take a quick circuit around. What do we got here? Criminal record. Robert Gallo, aka Father Gallo. He's an American male, 6'1", 140. 6'1", six 140 is fucking tiny. Uh, apprehended three hours after stealing a car from outside of a motel, he's been identified as escaped inmate of the high security Greenwater Institute. Oh, okay, so he was like a prisoner. Okay, any of you, do you have anything in here? No? 
Okay. Nothing in any of you. Yeah, okay. So, so far, so good. What about you? You're, you look like another police report. Post-mortem examination... Is that Office of the Medical... Is, that, is it James Hamilton? Is he the medical examiner? Oh, no, no. Okay, he's the name of the deceased. Duh. Uh, let's see. Time of death, 8-6. Date of examination, 8-20. Date of birth, 1970. I don't remember exactly when this is supposed to... Actually, hang on. So this takes place at least in 2013. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. He was gone for like two weeks. Holy shit. About 43 years old when he died. Due to not being discovered for nearly two weeks, the body was in the early stages of decomp. Despite this, the body, the deceased could still be identified as a well-nourished white male. Apart from decomposition and medical intervention, there is no evidence of other trauma. Toxicology reports show acute drug intoxication with high levels of opiates and barbiturates. Okay. What about you? Boston Police Coroner's Report, severe injuries to upper body and face slash skull. Alejandro Martinez, he was lacerated. Arms broken, fractured ribs, automobile crash into a deserted building, no airbag deployed. Crash caused by loss of concentration, faulty airbag resulted in full impact upper body, no seatbelt. Yeah, so he just ended up dead. Okay. Further action required. Interesting. Alright, what about you? Post-mortem examination, Sarah So. Uh, okay, she was... She was dead for, it looks like, basically a day. Asian female, age 24. Okay, body had no deformity, scars, or amputations, revealed no external injuries or remarkable features, bluest tint around lips, show cause of death to be asphyxia due to seizure. Interesting, why is this here? This is the homicide department. Blunt force, is it Jennifer Robinson, is that? No, that's a different person. <clears throat> Blunt force injuries to chap in upper chest and upper body, one incised wound to chest, bruises and lacerations, stab wound, blood and lungs due to piercing, homicide, prolonged attack, minimal defensive wounds. Lack of struggle suggests victim was drugged through toxicology, or, although toxicology reports have come back negative. Yeah, if I remember right, that's actually a thing where uh, certain like toxicology of because it's it sticks around for so long after death, it's it's actually difficult to to hide certain poisonings and such. See, I, I did actually get a kick out of this. This is uh, this is actually like all of the developers. So you have. Uh, you know, Anthony Murphy, he's the artist. John Ogle Barrington is the programmer. Ryan Boosfield, he's the creative director. Jack the Hacker Cox, he is the uh, programmer. He's highly intelligent, extreme behavior, armed and dangerous. <laughs> and uh, Chris King, he is apparently a junior designer and artist. Wonder for human trafficking, interesting. Okay, yeah, shoplifting, murder, weapons trafficking, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, I think this is just more... Yeah, just more stuff here. I don't really understand, like, who Wolf and Wood are versus these guys. I think these are the actual developers, but... Beats the shit out of me. Okay. Can I turn you on at all? No? Wait, isn't this 2013? Why the fuck do I still have, like, this old-ass analog TV here? Also, can I... Nothing in here. Alright, so it looks like I got some more notes here. Boston Detective Uncolor's Calendar Killer, Gruesome Lair. The hideout of the calendar killer, the serial killer who put Boston on lockdown, has been discovered after an intensive police investigation led by Detective Smith. After eight bodies were discovered over a period of several months, all, str all strangled and left with gruesome, intricate carvings, they were later discovered to relate to the Mayan Zolkin calendar. Boston has been on high alert with police investigating multiple leads. A ninth body was discovered in the Charles River, but Smith discredited this as the calendar killer as the mutilation was found to be a symbol from a different Mayan cycle to the other eight victims. Authorities have since been reluctant to share any details about the case for fear of attracting more copycat murders. You know, that's a good point. And what is this? Uh, how the black... How the back bay looked in 1878. It's kind of hard for me to tell. Like, I have I have a little more of like a cross-stitching effect, like the pixelation effect, because I'm in the VR. You guys shouldn't see it, so you'll probably have a better view of reading it. So, millionaire Joseph Tyrone's kidnapper tracked down by rookie detective using only a ransom note. Super sleuth rookie, Smith was able to pinpoint Tyrone's location by using subtle clues in the kidnapper's note. Smith recognized the lettering used had come from a local newspaper where he'd grown up. The Davies County Gazette uses its own antique typeface and has a circulation of just 8,000 over an area of 600 kilometers square. Well, that's some damn good sleuthing, Jesus, Smith. Yeah, I think we're actually playing as Detective Smith. I don't know if that's gonna be confirmed or not, but it stands to reason, because, well, all of these notes and shit, and we're the only detective, apparently. 
How the hell are we the only detective in Boston homicide? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Uh, so let's see. Where was I? Oh yeah, Smith was able to narrow this down upon further analysis in the note, and he realized that several of the other letters had come from a single manuscript typed on a typewriter that went out of production in the 50s. What? How the fuck can you tell that? Okay, that's crazy. A search through old company records showed only two of the machines had been bought within the area, one had been purchased by a publisher in the town of Rookville based in Davies County, Missouri, whose large out-of-town office building had been deserted since the company's closed in the 70s. Local police discovered Tyrone being held by a single captor in the Rookville Publishing House. Tyrone was released unharmed and a 26-year-old man is arrested at the scene. Yeah, okay. So he got somehow, did he got somehow, like, kidnapped? What the hell are you? You presumably are our wife or something? I don't, I don't know who this is. Looks like there might be, like, a park ranger or something? Maybe a pilot of some kind? I, I don't really know. Who are you, then? Laura Rivera, a.k.a. Laura Smith. She is pulled over after erratic driving and charged with an earlier offense of armed robbery in a local store. Stolen goods visible in vehicle, Rivera had disposed of weapon upon arrest. Has previous convictions for petty offense and serves several short jail terms in her home city of Lawrence, Kansas. All right. So, yeah, here we go. I think this is supposed to be us. Yeah, we're the... This is Detective Smith here, at least maybe back in the day or something. And I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, except we can go over here and we can read about Chapter 1 First Rights. So, First Rights, Chapter 1, and this is actually, I think, going to fill out when we're done, supposedly. So it'll kind of tell us, like, how complete we did and what we found. It'll be kind of a reference for us. So. Homicide, come in, Mrs. Dispatch. Hello, Dispatch. What do you got for me? Detective, you're needed down at St. Vincent de Paul. Uniforms have sealed off the scene. They said it looks like some sort of ritual. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Some sort of ritual. Oh, fucking great. So, have you guys ever noticed me, uh, the Church of St. Vincent de Paul? You ever notice me, like, kind of looking up and around and stuff? I have to wear this with glasses on. So, as uniform cops ushered away the crowd of onlookers, someone shouted, and all the devils besought him, saying, send us into the swine so that we may enter into them. Through the doors, I could see a trail of blood and evidence markers laid out for me to follow. Yeah, so like I was saying, I, I have to wear this with glasses because um, if I don't, it's just way too frickin' blurry. Now, I am trying to find a place that I can get, like, some lenses in it. Here we go. Chapter 1, First Right. Um, what was I saying, though? Yeah, so I'm trying to find a place that I can get lenses in it, but hopefully I'll be okay... And won't have to use the glasses as much in the future, but we'll just kind of have to see. So yeah, you ever notice me like kind of looking up and doing stuff? That's what that is. You're using my hands go up here. So my apologies for that if that bugs you guys. All right, so let's go take a look at the evidence. What do we got here? This is exhibit one. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I said I said to play like the first five, ten minute dish minutes of this when I was doing a test recording. Because I, I before I realized that I uh, looks nice. Oh, this is fucking creepy. Um, yeah, before I had realized that the, uh, what am I trying to say? Before I had realized that the game wasn't recording audio, so I lost that, which really, really was frustrating. But here we go. So this is actually going to be in my inventory, along with my phone and my notepad. Find out what happened in the church. Where is the priest? Good question. So I think we're going to actually go down here. Now, I don't know, send us into this, or send him into the swine. That's worrying. Now, I don't know why I don't have a flashlight. I'm a cop, right? I also don't know why the fuck I'm here alone. I should have, like, I should have an evidence photographer. I should have at least a couple of the uniforms to help. Yeah, I should not be in here alone. Send him into the swine. Why are you banging around? Hello. Oh, dear. Okay, well, that explains the swine references. Uh, you guys are... Come on, let's go. Okay, road roaching, this is still kind of weird, yeah, because VR is still just such a new technology. I've had, I've had some real problems with doing some of the... Some of the playings. What do you have in your hand? Hi, oh, that's disgusting. A bees oil lamp. Press to light the burner, level of oil depletes and refills over time. Oh, yeah, so this is actually going to kind of be like a... 
like a, a torch for us. That's going to kind of be my way of lighting things up. And yeah, this is actually going to sort of be my inventory that I can use. Okay, hello, bloody Virgin Mary, I assume, or Mother Teresa, I don't know who you're supposed to be. So, exorcism rites. Founders Eidschen, I feel like that's probably a typo, exorcism prayer book, Newcastle upon Tyne, Wolf Press, The Book of Prayers, New American Standard, Journal... Founders Edition? Yeah, okay. Anything else in here? No? Alright. Well, whatever, I'm clearly an unprofessional cop, so it's fine. And let's, uh, yeah, we're gonna head back there. And I got uh, two minutes into this before I ended up stopping. So, let's go actually... Actually, hang on, wait, did that, did that really say what happened? Where is the priest? The priest is right there, asshole. I'm probably gonna have to interact with something to get that clear. So yeah, one thing I did notice too, if you notice this little yellow bar, that's actually, you can see it's kind of slowly draining. That's actually how much, like, light is left in this. And then when it's done, I have to turn it off, and then it kind of recharges. So it's not... Yeah, not really the easiest system in the world. Alright. So, here we go. This is the priest's office. <clears throat> Let's go down here. And, here we go. There is Exhibit 4. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and see. What are you? Holy water. Delicate glass case holds holy water. Thrown, it smashes upon impact. So yeah, what I'm... I hope I didn't just need that. Um, what, what happens is... Yeah, okay, there we go. Every time that I pick stuff up, I'm, there's like a very slight vibration in my left hand, my left controller. So oftentimes that's how I kind of know that something just went there. Okay, what's in the drawer? Anything? Copy the Bible. Can I open you? No, I can't. Okay, now I did notice this too. There's a, there's like a number eight here. What is this? It's theoretical psychology, modern psychology, origins of psychotherapy, encyclopedia. Yeah, so this, this priest apparently was a big fan of psychology. And what is that? Mental Institute classified, huh? Yeah, so he was doing a lot of research into psychology stuff. And here we go, number five. What are you gonna tell me? Okay, so I got, like, basically to here before I decided to just- I just happened to look and realize the game wasn't picking up audio. Yeah, okay, that lady sounds like she wants some of the- the priest's dick to me. She definitely sounds like she wants to get laid, but... Yeah, so that was, uh, notes on exorcism. So the- the priest has been... The- the priest has been trying to do some sort of research on some sort of shenanigans. So, we got a couple of things here. So there was a book that I picked up here, we'll read that in a second. Father Bell, Church of St. Vincent de Paul. Okay, so that's the guy we just listened to. The Mississippian sacred statue is said to have been taken by a Spanish explorer in the 1500s. Hidden in an elaborate maritime ornament, it is thought that the statue is ground down to create a powder used to ward off the evils of such treacherous journeys. Unfortunately for the explorer, the real evil came from his fellow man. On his return to Spain, the Spanish Inquisition got word of his love affair with a native woman and tried him as a heretic. Oh boy, okay. That's, uh... <sighs> adjust there and then yeah yeah so i saw the button i was like oh okay cool um 
Now, let's go take a look. Notes on exorcism. So I think this is actually like, this is our tutorial as well. Yeah, okay, so yeah, there, there is like, there's a teleport command and stuff that we can use. Um, I honestly, like, I don't use a lot of... Oh, that's weird. Okay. Hang on. Is that the... So if I go there... I don't know what that is supposed to be. Why is there a... Hmm. I don't know what that is, but all right, anyway. Let's go ahead and let's let's give this a quick read, because yeah, it's all this, and then I, I assume that because I changed the controls, uh, this game actually used, like, you'd have to use your right thumbstick and probably hear me flicking it, and it, what it would do is it would snap you 90 degrees. I'm apparently just not one for motion sickness nowadays in VR, so I, I did smooth turning, but once again, if you guys have a preference on it, if that's, like, too weird to watch or something, do me a favor and just let me know. So, this is our tutorial stuff. Access the menu, blah, 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 blah. A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. Proverbs 18, 16. And if found, please return to Father Bell, Church of St. Vincent de Paul, Boston. Okay. Then the Legion pages. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he said unto him, My name is Legion, for we are many. How many? And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was, there on the mountainside, a great herd of swine feeding, and they besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, so that we may enter into them. He is gaining strength. Morocco, Spain, Romania, Georgia. I assume that's Jerusalem, considering its location by Egypt and Saudi and Iraq and stuff. I think that's supposed to be a reach here. I think he referenced that in the thing. Okay. So, the exorcism toolkit. What do these symbols mean? Oh, I'll, I'll have to check that out in a second. Hold the menu button to quickly access the exorcism toolkit. Okay, I assume that will be important at some point. So, let's actually... Yeah, it's those symbols up there. So let me actually... Yeah, okay, if I press and hold, then it, it, it pops out everything. Okay, and it looks like there is... Looks like there's two other spaces for stuff for me to get. So, let's go back into here. And see. The crucifix, channeling the light. Point the crucifix until the solid silver inlay grows bright white. Hold this steady as the light embraces. The light is now channeled through you, pointed at the darkness. Front, back, metal bars on back. Okay, so I assume that I'll just control it naturally. Yeah, that's my right... That's what the right controller looks like. Holy water, delicate glass case holds holy water. Thrown, it smashes upon impact. Hold the trigger to pick up, release to throw. Yeah, I already did that. Holy water can be used to put out eternal fires. Oh, okay, so I'll have to use that to put out fire. A beeswax oil burner. So I think that was the first thing I got. Or I guess the second thing if we don't include the box. A rugged version of an oil burner, the wick is thicker than normal, appears to be dipped with beeswax. The flame is focused into a spotlight. Use the beeswax oil burner to illuminate your surroundings. Some demons can even be repelled by its holy light. Hint, the oil burner reveals all that is hidden. Okay. Salt spray, a salt mist. A burst of crystallized holy minerals will repel untoward spirits. The holy minerals have been used for millennia to reveal the darkness hidden in the shadows. So it looks like there's going to be like a puzzle element to some of this, maybe. Okay, let's see, what is this? Ronova. I think that's how you pronounce that. R-O-N-O-V-E. Fire kills 12 in retirement home. Is this him? The taker of old souls. His work is to harvest the weak, decrepit, and those near to death. It is said that he tortures his prey first through mind games, disorientation, and stress. Then the real pain begins with physical abuse delivered from hellish flames. Weakness is holy water. All right. Cot death tragedy befalls sleeper rural town called Chance, Pennsylvania. Is this connected? The infertile devil who has been blamed for infant mortality throughout the history of civilization. Many cultures have encountered her and have been given many names. And, and she has been given many names, from Lilith in Hebrew to Medusa in Greek. She doesn't sleep, has no, her domain is the night, she's envious and feeds on the unwanted. That's Abizu. Weakness is bees oil lamp can reveal her presence. Yeah, so she kills children. Baal, unknown disease, kills 14 in a rural town in central somewhere. Weakness, like a disease, he isn't immune to natural minerals and salts. These may draw Baal out of his host. The bringer of lightning, wind, and rain, he manipulates the elements to bring plague, pestilence, and disease. The scale of his power is formidable. He is thought to be the source of many historic disasters. The Black Plague, Katrina, Smallpox, Spanish Flu, maybe. And then, looks like this is the last page, Pazuzu. Pazuzu is the demon of the southwest wind. 
Traditionally, he is known as the bringer of famine and locusts, but modern scholars believe him to be something much more insidious as he picks away at any belief a person holds dear through corruption, hate, and fear. Uh, sorry, I just have to quick adjust some stuff here. So, weakness, a powerful and resourceful foe, no single weakness known, must find a way. I bet you don't like the crucifix. So, let's just kind of get a feel for this, because I assume that I'm going to have to use this to, like, to fight enemies off and stuff. Okay. Sweet. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll keep that in mind. If I'm looking for something hidden, I'll use the lamp. Okay. So, number six. What do we got here? A letter to St. Vincent de Paul. Another psychology book. Nothing else there. Come on. Come here. Ooh, hello. What are you? Music box research. A Victorian industrialist came into possession of a sacred Celtic relic on his travels to the most southern reaches of Scotland. He wrote that before setting out on the day's work, the local farmers and shepherds would kneel to a standing stone in the most barren of fields. Upon closer inspection, he saw a thin bronze cross was inlaid on the standing stones. Its metal seemed to resonate as if made of glowing embers. He had to have it for his collection. At first, the locals were hesitant to consider his offer, but eventually his persistence and deep pockets won them over with the promise of vast sums of money and exotic furs. On his return to England, he sent his bankrupt to the villagers as promised, but the bankers returned to the very same golden furs. He asked, were they not take my money? His banker said that there was no man, woman, or child in the village to give it to, only wolves. I wonder if that's insinuating that the people got killed by wolves, or that they were like secretly wolf people that the, the thing was helping. And speaking of wolves, what are you? Wolf Valley Wine, Newcastle upon Tyne, Chance and Bon. Okay. Uh, well. There we go. I was kind of hoping I could use that as a weapon because I apparently don't have a gun. And yes, of course I checked. And here we go. So this is the salt sprayer. Wait for air compressor to expand. Press to fire a mist of salt and minerals. Okay. Oh, I see. And then how long is that? Four seconds, five seconds. Okay, so I can do a I can do a mist of every five seconds, and it looks like it looks like it really mostly comes out in the first shot. So it's not going to be something that I can. Yeah, it's not going to be like a spray per se. It'll be like a burst directly at something. Now, cool thing, you might have noticed that earlier on, I had thrown my stuff to the side. So yeah, if I drop anything, which is actually really good, and that's part of why I did uh, I did this button toggle on my hand to crouch. So I had actually, I'd picked up one of these earlier that I had dropped it and was like, oh shit, I can't get it because, you know, I had to actually physically reach it down. But because I'm so tall and the room is kind of weird, I couldn't actually reach it. I was like up here. Now the game actually, the game I think always had it, so stuff does reappear, which is really, really nice. Okay, so what else do I have around here? So here's number seven. Okay. And that's just the blood. And now there was a button here. And that made that start bleeding, which is really fucking creepy. And, uh, that's disgusting. Gave us a couple more tapes. And there we go. That looks like the cross we need. You're here, are you? Okay, cool. Where's my gun? Ah, shit. No, I don't want to listen to that. Hang on, what is this? New Hampshire last rites. Oh, come on, come on, eject, eject. Oh, really? Okay, that kind of sucks. Okay. Yeah, that, that really sucks that uh, I can't, like, stop this somehow. But there's two other things here, it looks like, that I want to listen to. So let's go ahead and let's see. So I have Morocco and last rites. I'll listen to last rites first. I think that'll be more important. Yeah, and especially because that's such a fucking long one, too. Can I really not get you to shut up? Okay. Now, what are you? You are Wolf Whiskey. Well, bottoms up. Glug, glug. And of course, it's empty. Kind of surprised, actually. I didn't think the... Oh, no, I guess it's the... Uh, I guess it's more like the Protestants and the Methodist sects that make it so that their priests can't... Yeah, I think they make it so their priests can't drink, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and what are you? Because you look like something important, actually. Let me get you out here. Okay, so you're facing northwest. Got it. What is what is this? I gaze upon the breaking dawn, the look away for I am scorned, turn left to hear the devil's horn, I see him wear the crown of thorns. 
Okay, so let me see. So what do I do with... Oh, okay, cool. So I gaze upon the breaking dawn. Okay. I look away for I am scorn. Turn left to hear the devil's horn. And then I see him wear the crown of thorns. I assume that's just to the north. I'm, I'm assuming that I just have to... Hello, what do I just do? Okay. The heck? Sorry, it's, uh, I'm actually kind of getting used to living in an apartment again, because I used to be renting a house a long time ago. I keep on, no, oh, hello. Okay, that's a, that's a problem. I feel like that shouldn't look like that, and I feel like there probably wasn't all this blood here before. Okay, so, what the hell are you? Okay, what did I just get? Source of the Nile. A blessed water from the cradle of humanity offers enhanced power against the fires of hell. Upgrade added to kit. I found a wear item today that must be more locked away. PTO. Oh, hang on. Okay, so the Veiled Virgin, the chest locker, artifact stolen from the Vatican, Spanish Estrelabe, the lock music box, and the sacrament. Okay, so maybe it looks like all of these items are going to have an upgrade. So let me see something. Does this... Yeah, okay, here we go. And then if I go ahead and if I shatter you, I really hope you come back as the right ones, that you're not like a single... Yeah, okay, cool. So that's just a straight upgrade. That's going to be cool. So I wonder if there's going to be an upgrade for each one. But hang on, that said there were five items. So there's this. So pro I'll probably get like one per chapter, and then maybe the fifth one will like upgrade the whole thing. Maybe it'll upgrade the box. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, let's go listen to you. What do you have to say? This should be the thing on the last rites, if memory serves. I always feel uneasy and removed after reading an inmate's last rites. The long corridor of metal doors contains men who are scheduled to death. Seems so calculated and cold. The day was even more unsettling. I was called at from one of the cells by an inmate who seemed to know me, not of me. But my actions over the last few months, see, he knew about my work, even my unofficial time in Morocco. How? Oh. Not only has he been locked in there for years, only a select few clergymen are aware of my intentions, and they're dismissive at best. The guards quickly ushered me out, and I won't be back there for at least two months. Hmm, okay, so he's talking about... I like that this stacks up. He's talking about some time in Morocco. Well, let's give it a listen. Let's go see. Morocco, September 3rd. I arrived at the family home yesterday at dusk. The father was severely opposed to my presence. He wouldn't let me nor my guide step foot in his home. And though we tried to convince him otherwise, we eventually chose to abide his wishes and prepared for a night on the streets outside their home. We sat below her window. Just above our heads, we could hear her strained cries through the night. The hours drew on. We tried to reason with her father again, but he was as stubborn as I persisted. We all raised our voices. She must have heard us as we argued in the street below, because she let out a scream with such ferocity that I thought a pack of wild dogs must be in her room. We raced upstairs. I was right behind her father as he flung open the door. The sight inside was like nothing I've seen before. A broken young girl. Her body twisted and fractured, devoid of life, innocent, and soul. Well, that was unnerving. Okay, cool. Well, um, I have a problem because there's so, there's clearly somebody here. We just heard a voice, right? Why why is this cop not calling for backup immediately? Like, I, I can only speak for myself, but I'm pretty sure that if I ever came across a crime scene and I knew I had people outside and I was like, I'm going to go wander around it. And I'm like, and then I suddenly start hearing voices. I like my handgun is coming out and then I'm going ahead and I'm calling for backup. Because, like, no matter what, if something's in there, I'd rather fucking shoot it. What does that say? Swine? Oh, boy. Okay, that's, uh, a troublesome. Cool. So, let's give that a second to recharge. I kind of hope this gets an upgrade so that it's, like, more powerful. Because right now, it's kind of worthless. Oh, my God, hi. 
Hey, Mary, how you doing? You got a little blood on your face. I kind of don't want to interact with you. I feel like I'm going to fucking die. Oh, shit, the priest's gone. Okay. And the lights are off. Again, where is my fucking gun and flashlight? Oh, I fucking hate this. Okay. This is fucking spooky as hell. Also, my apologies if you guys ever hear, like, like that noise. I don't know if it'll pick up. Um, my, my current living room has the double as a gym right now because it's such a small space. And I have a bunch of workout matting in here, so I'm kind of, like, bumping into it occasionally. Yeah, okay, nope, time to go. Time to leave. Oh, this is fucking horrifying. I don't like this at all. Okay, never mind. Let's not go there. Um, yeah, priests and the pig's heads are gone. Okay. Nope, again, time to go. Oh, shit. Okay, this isn't good. We need to leave. We need to get the fuck out of here right now. You have money. Oh, shit. Yes, I do have nightmares. Of course I have nightmares about this shit. The fuck? What the fuck? Okay, that's a pig head on Jesus. Oh, that's some sacrilegious bullshit. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, this is the statue of Pazuzu, isn't it? Swine, huh? Get fucked. Okay, again, where's my handgun? Oh, fuck me. No, go away. Where's... I don't want to turn around right now. And it's been a decade or more since my last conference. May I ask you a question? Why does your God swim in such I don't want to look around. The power of Christ compels you to fuck off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, Jesus, um... Kinda need you at my side, buddy. Oh, boy. Okay. Why does this vibrate when I aim? Oh, fuck. Where's my gun? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, da. Ah, okay, right in the face. Oh, shit. Where's, where's my toolkit? Where's my gun? Where's my light? Oh, please don't jump scare me. Please don't jump scare me. Out of bounds running? What the fuck? A dead exorcist, Mio cold, and that thing in the shadows. Oh, I wonder if I, like, clipped through the wall. Okay, that was weird. How the hell do I write this case up? That's a good damn question. Homicide, Boston PD. Yeah, again, detective, what you do is you don't go in there alone, you dumb motherfucker, and you certainly don't just go wandering willy-nilly around. Do you have a package arrived for you? It's on your desk. Okay, cool. Yeah, you don't go wandering willy-nilly around and be like, I'm so fucking cool, gang, because you're just too fucking smart to go get help at a crime scene, I guess. Dumbass? Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, that was weird, that, that out-of-bounds thing. I, I assume it's just, like, because I... Yeah, I assume it's, like, my, my head wedged into, a uh, Into somewhere it shouldn't have been, because, yeah, I haven't actually really moved at all. Like, I've moved about less than a foot. So, okay. So I got a package here. What is this? The amulet is dangerous and must be exercised. Point the crucifix and feel as the light passes through. The crucifix will glow and the light is ready to channel. Can I move you? Good. Light was ready to channel. Point this at the amulet to rid it of darkness. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Oh. Okay, so that's how that works. So this wasn't doing shit for me when I was in the church. That's good to know. Well, here, let's go see. What is... Power Christ says, fuck off. Fuck off and go away. Okay. Oh, it's kind of cool that you can actually get... It has, like, a crosshair. Like, a literal crosshair. That's kind of sweet. From Fortune and Zintaro readings of demonology, I fear Miss Moss is wrapped up in something more sinister. What is this? It was not the right thing to do. People saw him there. She was that cool teacher who'd get the children thinking about the environment and recycling. She was kind and fun. At school fairs, she would tell fortunes and read tarot cards to re make money for local charities. 
I don't see the girl I worked with. This isn't Lucy. The Lucy Moss I knew loved the children and wanted the best for their future. Kali got data if you protected identity. Why the fuck even have a picture then? That's dumb. Okay. Oh, this must be in reference to the next thing. Teacher attempts to murder children on satanic field trip. Evil teacher Lucy Moss took a class of third graders out of school and plied them with apple juice laced with sleeping tablets before setting fire to the minivan they slept in. What a fucking cunt. Okay. Emergency responders found the hired vehicle just in time to pull the unconscious children from the burning remains. None of the class are killed by the blaze, but all are being treated for severe smoke inhalation at the St. Folly and Chill Hospital for Children. Moss is said to have turned... I can't, I can't really get like a good lighting to read stuff in here. Yeah, here we go. It's better. Moss is said to have turned aggressive and gouged firefighters' faces and eyes as they tried to pull her from the vehicle. Books about black magics and demon found her possession. Revenge. Loner Lucy is thought to be seeking revenge on the school she works at after recent cuts led to reduced hours for a number of staff. The school has yet to, com to comment, but locals' parents say they fear for the children's safety and plan to challenge the school board over this serious lack of judgment. Haiti riots sparked by a disease epidemic. I think we know which one of the assholes did that. The EPDC sent to investigate an emergency situation in Port-au-Prince have come under fire from angry citizens for supposedly harboring the cause of the disease and some fashion bullshit. Okay, so... I don't know what this is. It's some sort of an amulet, and I'm not putting you on, because that seems like a good way to end up cursed and dead. Alright. Now, last thing. I want to go see something. Did we get anything from... Into the evidence area. And Chief, can we have a word? How about you go ahead and you give me some backup next time, motherfucker? Because I'm not going in there alone. Okay, so... You know what? After a thing like that... I think I kind of deserve a coffee, yeah. I don't know whose it is, but whatever. Glug, glug. Okay. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, that's actually really, really creepy. Um... So... Uh, yeah, so the evidence thing here. See, so yeah, it looks like the only important stuff was these three. The tape. Statue of asshole. And then the statue there. So that, that does carry over, right? Like, those aren't going to be... Are those going to be... No, okay, they're not, hopefully. The upgrades aren't going to be specific. So it looks like I'll get upgrades for each one. And then last thing, I want to take a look over here. What... Evidence completion 100%, okay. Minor disturbance reported at the church. Police cloud but did not find anything of note. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, that must be after, maybe? Okay. Because I was going to say, anything of note, we literally found decapitated pigs and a dead priest and blood everywhere. Like, whatever else, that place got fucked. But, alright, so, that was The Exorcist Legion, and that was Chapter 1, First Rites. So, how did you guys feel about this? How did you guys feel about the VR? You know, how is the quality of the video? How is the quality of the audio? I'm actually recording this off of the headset microphone because I don't really have a good way to record with my normal mic. So you guys might notice that it sounds a little bit different and stuff. You know, I'll try to correct any issues in there. But yeah, if you guys notice problems or something, if my breathing sounds heavy or whatever, just let me know in the comments as soon as you can because what I want to do is there's like two series out there that I desperately want to work really really well for the recording and if I can go ahead and correct any issues early on I'd rather correct them now but uh, yeah are there any VR games you guys want to see too you know I know there, there's one out there that it's definitely been requested if by at least a few people and I kind of feel bad because I had to lie to them when they were like hey Bonus are you ever going to get VR and I was like oh maybe kind of sort of and at the time I was really just you know, busy kind of trying to figure out my life, and then, you know, I had planned on getting a, a VR headset shortly after I'd moved. So, my apologies to you guys who I kind of lied to, but I, I hope this was a, uh, a worthwhile lie. But, yeah, if, if there are any VR games you guys want to go ahead and see, do me a favor, let me know in the comments, um, because I'm really looking forward to doing VR. I'm really looking forward to expanding content for the channel, and, yeah, just should be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys are uh, looking forward to it as much as I did. Or as much as I am, rather, because this has been a real blast, and that was fucking terrifying. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about Chapter 1, First Rites? You know, if you guys are familiar with this game, is there anything in here that, you know, any little tips and tricks? You know, if you can avoid spoilers, I'd appreciate it, but, yeah, if there's any advice or anything out there that you guys would like to give me, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Or, you know, how did you guys just generally feel about the game and the atmosphere? 
And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching Chapter 1, First Rites of the Exorcist Legion. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.